Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Rich. All right, welcome to a new video. Look what I got. The Art of He-Man and Masters of the Universe. Um, I bought this online for, I think, 20 or 25 bucks. Uh, it looks like it might have come out in 2015. I, I kind of thought it actually was more recent. Uh, this book is big. I actually watched a YouTube video of someone flipped through it, and I was, like, way into it. It's so cool. I love the character designs. Um, this wasn't something that I watched as a kid. Uh, I got into music when I was probably about 11 years old, and I was obsessed with music. So, really, at that point, kind of everything else went out the window, except for uh, Dungeons & Dragons um, as, a, as a hobby. Um, so... Yeah, I watched uh, The Toys That Made Us on Netflix and really, really liked what I saw. And I had seen the toys on and off. And I mean, how can you not like Skeletor? So uh, give me one second. I'm going to grab an exact knife. We're going to pop this open and do a little flip through because uh, the designs and the art are so cool. All right, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, so I took off the shrink wrap. And uh, yeah, after Comic-Con, I wanted to treat myself to a few... Um, not only like Comic-Con gifts, but it was my birthday during Comic-Con. So happy birthday to me. I bought myself some stuff after the show. And uh, I just, I love stuff like this. Like cool designs that are simple and kind of like unusual. And man, there was just so many ideas that I saw from from just looking at it. It really was like inspiring. And uh, yeah, even on YouTube. I mean, I, like, I watch, you know, people that do... Um, the toy videos and uh, the stuff is just cool, man. It's really, really cool. We probably won't do a full flip through of this because it is quite big, but um, we'll get a little bit. Oh man, Skeletor is so awesome. <laughs> I don't know all the names of the characters, so I'm not going to try to like fake the funk and um, like plug in names of characters I don't know. Um, but. Uh, I'm learning slowly but surely. I actually have my eye on a few toys on eBay. <laughs> uh, I I saw um, the um, the new uh, oh man those the new like play sets are insane. The Snake Mountain that's coming out is ridiculous, but it's like five hundred bucks. And um, it's funny. I saw this in the video. It's totally like like the, the artist was definitely into Barry Windsor Smith. It's pretty funny, but. It's very, 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 very Windsor Smith. And the the, um, the designer that did the designs of these, he's in that The Toys That Made Us. I would highly recommend that if you haven't watched it. Um, the series is great, and they're all kind of interesting for their own way. Um, but, um, yeah, they were, they were, like, saying that, like, it's like, we've got a guy in the basement, and he draws, like, Frazetta. And uh, they had him start doing the designs. I, I can't think of his name off the top of my head if I, if I spot it. Um could be Mark Taylor. I'm not sure. Big Jim. Oh, Roger Sweet, original notes, line referencing for it. I'm not sure who's who. So, again, I'm not going to try to pretend that I know. Um, it's a nice drawing. Really, really nice. But, yeah, I've bought, I've bought a few of these types of books. Some of, of A lot of times it's, like, stuff that I don't really know but just looks cool and, and um, exciting to me. I, I just, these designs are great. They're so fun and they're so just cool. I don't know any other. So I think Mark Taylor is the artist. <laughs> it's so awesome. Figure attributes. Durable. Would last a long time. Fun to play with. Creative. Gives the child the power. That was what kids, that's what they said that little boys wanted. We wanted the power. I actually, I watched The Toys That Made Us over the weekend a couple of times. Like, I was just rewatching it. <laughs> so awesome. I was really looking forward to this book showing up. That guy's got decent anatomy. It's like, <laughs> look at this character. It's fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look, look at that. It's so sick. Man. It's like Battle Cat, like, is so awesome. It's like a green tiger with orange stripes and then pink armor. Come on. <laughs> look at that. 
so cool. <laughs> the other thing that kind of got me excited, honestly, it might have been the other way around. Um, Sideshow did some new statues of He-Man, Masters of the Universe, and I saw those, and I was pretty obsessed with those toys. I'm obsessed with most uh, Sideshow stuff, though, to be honest. Um, but uh, the superhero stuff is probably the least interesting to me, although there's some really, really good stuff. But but generally speaking, I would say that those, those are probably the least, like... Um, desirable i because I, I think i don't know for me superheroes work best in comic books um and and uh, i don't know having a room full of like superhero toys doesn't really like doesn't knock my creative juices into like overdrive that way but for different people it does trust me i don't i'm more than happy to watch a video of someone's got a killer batman collection or whatever it is or xm studios man yeah that's so awesome Yeah, one of the things that they were saying, I think it was in the documentary, is like how how nice the packaging always was for for the He Man line, the Masters of the Universe stuff. Um, man, that is great. Look at that. That's so cool. Castle Grey Skull. I want to actually get one of these. Not, in, I'll just get the old one. I'm cool with that. Um, A lot of them are broken, but that's all right. I, I mean, all this stuff is so cool, man. <laughs> it's sharp, it's all puzzle. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. I'm so watching the toys that made us when I'm done with this video. I'm going to upload this to YouTube and then I'm going to get working and I'm <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. Look at that. Man, that is great. Oh, this book is so worth it. And it's huge. I mean, we're not even like one tenth of the way through. It is gigantic. It goes through different, different things. Uh, I mean, you know I mean? Like each chapter has got different stuff, but... This honestly, it might be one of the best books that I have. I kind of I went into it after I saw the guy's video, and I was like, "This is going to be up there for me." Well, I have a lot of books, as you guys know, but this is dope. <laughs> Look at that guy; he's awesome. Tongue lasher. Oh yeah, these are the guys that punch each other in the face. What is it called? Bottom early to. Early too, oh, too bad, too bad. <laughs> yeah, I think that toy punches itself, right? Like, something like that. Again, I don't want to embarrass myself with my lack of knowledge. I'm learning. Like, think of me as a new fan. You brought me over to play toys, and you just busted out the stuff. Wow, he's crazy. He looks a little like a um, Keith Giffen drawing. <laughs> This book is awesome. Oh my god. I'm totally geeking out. Wow. Hello. Oh man. Okay, so these are produced toys. Oh, okay, so this is like art form. Man. Dang, that's intense. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> So for you hardcore, like, Masters of the Universe people, what did you guys think of the Sideshow statues? Did, did you like them as a fan? Was, like I said, it was... It, I wouldn't say that was my introduction into it. I, obviously, I've known of this forever, but, um, I mean, that was what definitely brought it back on, onto my radar. Man, this is so killer. 
so these they uh, they don't look like photos they're just like super tight like little oh packaging illustrations man they're nice trash truck is going by look at this guy he's got lobster claw this reminds you you as an artist that it's like don't throw out any ideas because you never know when when <laughs> If your whole world is kind of whimsical, or I don't know if whimsical would be the right word, but you know what I mean? If it's really unusual, then then unusual stuff will work, you know? That's great, too. Man, look at that. Gotta kind of hustle because I don't want this to go too long. Oh, unproduced toys. Interesting. There we go. Yeah, the story of how this all came about is really, really interesting. It was like they were trying to basically create stuff that would compete with uh, like the Kenner Star Wars stuff, and uh, they tried a few things and nothing was sticking, and then um, they hit pay dirt. It's pretty fascinating too because the 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 revenue that the, the, these toys created was crazy and got up to i think in 1986 460 million dollars or or 700 million and then the following year just the bottom completely fell out and it made like 7 million i mean if you could imagine going from 470 million to an 87 making like 7 mil that's insane like when the bottom fell out on this toy line or, or whatever you want to call it like license licensing Man, it really, really just, like, dropped. But, you know, you wait long enough, stuff comes back around. If they do, like, a new line of toys, I think, from what I understand, is that the license holder that's producing the Snake Mountain lost the license, and that it is reverting back to Mattel, I think. So, if Mattel does a new line of toys, I may actually start collecting them. I'm considering it. So I really like this stuff. It makes me happy. <laughs> if it makes me happy and it gets me creative, then I'm down. I always love, like, the people that do, like, drafting and, and this kind of stuff. They always have really, like, nice handwriting. Oh, man, it's so sick. Look at that. Trying to get the glare off of it. Let's see. Man, what a great drawing. Painting. You can really see the canvas. It's actually a very, very nice scan. But yeah, I've got all kinds of cool stuff coming. I, I gave myself a little tiny bit of a budget to, like, grab some new inspiration. Dude, this is just great. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so cool. Mm -mm -mm. That's a nice drawing. Really, really nice. Card back art introduced in 1983. Yeah, see, a lot of you probably will have, like, pretty fond memories of, of this stuff, you know, from the packaging and whatnot. It's pretty cool. This is nice, too. Stinkor. <laughs> That's me right now. I need a shower. <laughs> oh, yeah, Moss Man with his fur of forest green. He fools and frustrates the wicked. It's a nice little drawing. Mm, 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 mm. Oh man, look at that. Oh, that is cool. That's rad. God damn. Look at that fucking thing he's writing. They both have crazy, like, look at that. It's like, 
<laughs> it's a bad analogy, but it sort of works. It's it's like you know, like Jack Kirby stuff. How like he draws like real big chunky, like everything is big and chunky and kind of wacky. It's got a little bit of that feel. Like this is just they're so cool looking. It definitely captures the spirit of Jack Kirby. Like oh man, this is just like God. I want that to be my house. <laughs> I wish I had more room in my studio because I would totally get this stuff. I see those like crazy sideshow collectors that I don't even know what they do for a living that they've got these gigantic homes with like, you know, big, big playrooms upstairs or in the basement, wherever they are. This is a great little painting. Ruby Obrero. Man, very nice. Um... But yeah, I, there's a guy that I was watching this video last night. His his movie room or whatever you call it must be like probably cost five hundred grand. I mean, it's just insane. Probably maybe more, honestly, with all the stuff that he had in it. It was pretty pretty insane. Oh, that's cool! What a great piece, man. Okay, so we're at 60 minutes. I'll go till 20 minutes, and then I'm going to stop this. Oh, the mini comics. So I think that these were with the toys. This was the, the promise that they sort of... Uh, the lie that they had was that there was a mini comic already coming. And then they had... They you know, obviously had to do it. That's a nice drawing. Yeah, it's really cool. Illustrated blue book purchase. Oh, that's Alfredo Alcala. How funny is that? Let's see the signature on there. He's good. I oh, wonder that's a nice drawing. Uh, artwork by Bruce Tim. Wave 5 artwork by Bruce Tim. Interesting. And this is from 1986. I didn't realize Bruce Tim was that old. Oh, and these are the covers for the comics, I guess. Hmm. That collection that I bought may have some of these comic books in it. It's possible. It's definitely from that era. I don't remember any, though, so I could be off. But I would check these out. Why not? If I could find a lot, I'd buy it. This, isn't, this doesn't bode well for me thinning up the herd, though. So if I got them, I would never get rid of them. <laughs> Okay, let's skip ahead a little bit and see what we get going on here. Oh, storyboards. Wow, how cool is that? Oh, okay, and then look at this stuff. Just to give you guys a taste of what's in the book. I mean, like, honestly, like, I I mean, this book is just all win. So It's so big, too. Oh, interesting, Macquarie. So Ralph Macquarie worked on this. I'd be it'd be interesting to see Mobius take his take a stab at this. That's really cool. What a great, like I mean, that just looks fun. Yeah, this book is really, really affordable. If you look around, you could definitely find a good deal on it. And, uh, I mean, I would just really highly recommend it. I think it's fantastic. It's just a lot of fun. Oh, my God. There's so much art. It's just insane. Oh, what is this? Animation cells. Whoa. What are these, like, pull-outs? Wow, there's like some kind of thing in here. I don't even know what I'm doing. Hold on. I don't want to mess this up here, but there's something I think that pulls out right here. Oh, I love I love the like background map paintings that they use for cartoons. 
I mean, like I said, I'm not even exaggerating. We have you know, we haven't hardly gone through any of this book. Oh, and there's a bunch of the art from the comic books in the back too. So that that might not be as interesting. But look, the designs for this. Oh, that's an awesome back shot. So this is the Castle Grayskull playset. Through pre-sale. Okay, so this is the new one. This is the new the new one. So this book so this book was sooner than 2005. Look at this escape form of all the toys. Man, that's like poster worthy. Yeah, oh man, look at her. She's cool. Sorry if the lighting's not so great. You're buying this book. If you're this, if you're still watching this video now, you're getting this at some point. Don't worry, you're gonna get to see all this stuff. Man, I can't wait to sit down and actually like look at this thing with a little bit of quality time. That's great. All right, have a great day. I'll talk to you all later. Smash the like if you can. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with more cool stuff as it rolls in. All right, have a great day. Bye.